914 Justin Horn has spent years looking at the stories behind town names, but along the way, those deep dives into history have opened up more geographical mysteries. One such mystery was brought to our attention by a viewer, Ken Hummel. And while you may not catch this oddity at first glance, it is curious and it sent Justin digging through the state archives to find the answer. When Stephen F. Austin's map of Texas was completed for the first time in 1837, those who worked on it probably never dreamed that a meteorologist would be marveling at the work from deep inside the General Land Office more than 180 years later. Yet, that's what's happening here. There's 35 million documents. It started with Austin's incredible work, and now there are tens yeah. of millions of files, yeah. each documenting land ownership and boundaries in this archive in the Texas General Land Office, located in the state's capital. And it took coming here to solve the mystery of nearby by LaSalle County. It turns out that the southern border of the county is, well, Catawampus. It seems to go askew for no apparent reason. Most of us would probably never notice, but there it is, not a perfect rectangle like its neighbors. At first blush, we thought perhaps it had to do with the town of Encinal. Maybe the line juts south to keep the town from spilling over into Webb County. But if that were true, it's lost on the residents of Encinal. In fact, no one seemed to know why, which brings us back to the General Land Office. Within our files, uh, we'll see all sorts of errors, mistakes that happen. After doing some significant digging, it was a mistake that led to the angled boundary, says James Harkins of the General Land Office. It's just this mistake was pretty dramatic. Usually, we don't find too many that are this, maybe this big of an error. As the story goes, the drawing of the county line required two surveyors. One surveyor, G.H. Mills of LaSalle County, was there as planned, but the other surveyor from Webb County didn't show up. So Mills had to navigate this rugged brush land alone. Back then, uh, the land was surveyed by pulling metal chains as opposed to GPS. All alone with snakes, mesquite, and extreme heat. It only took one wrong calculation. You have to make sure that all that the math adds up. And come on, who hasn't been tripped up by some algebra in their life? An equation that makes LaSalle County unique. Very cool, Justin. <laughs> and then I had to say, yeah. I know that was a quick glimpse of the video of the snake. Yeah. <laughs> Right well, there. And, and it seems like such a trivial thing, right? Like right. This, this angle boundary, but it was sort of interesting to jump in there and, and jump into sort of the details behind it. And there were other counties and other boundaries like that where, you know, mistakes happen. I've never noticed it. I didn't either. Justin, have you ever thought about becoming a reporter too? Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> listen, I was trying to be Dylan Collier on this one, like really dig deep <laughs> into the files to figure it I, out. I guess we all wear different hats at times, yes. right? Yes, no, you did a great job. That Thank was you awesome. very much. That uh, was it was awesome. fun. We got a couple more stories coming up, by the way.